Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. It's not gonna be a whole house clean with me. I finally got my council table in the mail, so I will be doing like a mini living room makeover as I remove all of the stuff from my entryway and put in the new council table. So to begin with, I am just going to start putting everything away. You guys have already seen the before pictures and I cannot wait to show you the after results. But anyways, let's get into this and start decluttering this entryway and just start deep cleaning. <laughs> because my living room definitely needed it. I always felt like this part of my living room was a huge eyesore and I hated that this is the thing you saw when you first came into my house. Now I get it's practical that there's just a place to put your shoes, there is a mat for wet shoes especially since I live in New York we get a lot of snow, especially because I'm near the lake so we do get a lot of lake effect snow therefore foot traffic is usually wet. I do run into a problem a little bit later on because I did put all the shoes in the closet and decluttered it that way and my partner insists that you don't put wet shoes in the closet. Let me know guys down in the comments below what you do with your wet shoes. Is there a certain mat you put them on? Do you put them in your closet? Do you have a specific shoe rack? Because I'm still looking for ideas for the shoes. Right now, like I said, they are in the closet on a wooden shoe rack with the plastic rubber, whatever it is, mat in the closet. So let me know some ideas down in the comments below. Now, before anyone asks, this council table is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I paid $210 that was with shipping, taxes, so that is the overall total for it. Was it worth it? I'm not quite sure because it is very light wood, so I'm not sure how long it will last for. It's not one of those pieces of furniture that will last for life unless you take like really good care of it, which I do plan on doing. But I was slightly disappointed because I don't feel like the price was worth the quality of wood. Usually things that are more expensive are heavier, so that's kind of how I know that it wasn't really made very well, but I absolutely love it anyway. The color is absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to assemble it. Actually, I already did, but I cannot wait to assemble it in the video for you guys so you guys can see the end results. It doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. Now, I originally saw this council table on the Facebook Marketplace. Someone posted it earlier on in the day for $60. And I was so excited because it was absolutely perfect for my living room. And I messaged this guy and I asked him what time I could pick it up and all the stuff and asked for an address to rearrange, to arrange pickup. So he told me that I could come after six and that was when he would be available for me to come pick up the council table. Well, I messaged him around 6.30. I waited all day, just kind of, like I expected him to sell it to me. And because it was Marcus sold, it was taken down. So I messaged him around six and he tells me he gave it to his sister. Now I was so disappointed at this point because it was absolutely perfect. So I spent hours trying to find this exact council table online. I was a little bit disappointed that I ended up paying $210 for it compared to the $60 that he was selling it for. But I do not regret my purchase and I am in love with it as I mentioned. And just sometimes that kind of stuff happens. It was just super annoying. But I know they won't and I should let it be. But I'm gonna die.
Doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this But I'm gonna die As I was cleaning up this area, I was trying so hard not to unplug the internet because not only is Shiloh doing homeschool, you can see her walking in and out of the room. She actually went in her bedroom to do gym class, but Jerry is also upstairs on the computer doing field work for his master's program. So I had to carefully maneuver all of the stuff on the floor, rearrange the cord, and the reason that I was just kind of standing there is because we have this really long cable that I was just kind of shoving back into the hole. It was kind of weird because I saw a cable guy do that the one time, so I just tried it and it went in and I left the little metal part kind of sticking out in case I ever do decide to put a TV here, which is not likely. But now, if you're not sure what I'm doing, I am just, the handles were screwed on the inside, so I had to flip them around, take the screws out, re-screw them back in. Thought I can do it with a drill, but the drill obviously doesn't fit in the drawer, so I had to go in with a screwdriver and just take them out and then flip them and re-screw them back in. It was just kind of tedious, but it looks cute. Go back to, why don't we go back to, never wanted to end it like we did. I guess shit happens for a reason, but it's like something feels different from back then. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to, honestly I'm open wide. I don't feel like waking up without you by my side. I still see your silhouette Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Your bedroom Now that the handles are screwed in, I did take the time to take a wet washcloth and wash the baseboards behind this. Just because there was a shoe rack and Shiloh's art stuff, it just hasn't been washed in a while. So I wiped it down and even wiped down the floor just because there was some dirt and it was just kind of gross. But because I also got styrofoam all over the living room from unpacking this, I did end up vacuuming. As you can see, it's like all over the floor and I just wanted to make sure to vacuum it all up because my cats like to eat things they're not supposed to and yeah that ends up getting really messy really fast so I do go in and vacuum I also vacuum up the hardwood and just make sure to get up all of the styrofoam before any of my cats find it I don't feel like waking up without you by my side I still see your silhouette why don't we go back to why don't we go back to you bet. I did take the time to declutter the closet. Like I said, I did put a shoe rack in here. I got the shoe rack from Target. I will link it down below. It was about $18 and it fit in my closet perfectly. I also have salt for ice when you go outside to just like salt your sidewalks. And I did go through and take out everything that didn't need to be in here. And I did have a giant bag for donations because there were some old shoes in here, some old winter stuff from when Shiloh was a toddler that I was just kind of holding on to because she was my little human and I love her and it's just really sad to get rid of her baby stuff but I did pick out some sentimental things. Oh, and I made that painting. I found it in the closet, I completely forgot about it. But I made it like five, six years ago, so. But anyway, I am gonna continue to declutter the closet. I'm going to sweep up because there was so much stuff on the bottom of this from salt to dirt to dust, cat hair. The cats do like to try to get in this closet. But I am so happy with the end result because it is so much cleaner that like I said, the shoes fit in here perfectly with that wet mat. And then I did put some of the reusable bags on the top shelf, you will see that in a little while. But I went in and decluttered it and I am so relieved with how it looks. to be someone else I would and like all of you mm -hmm. 
Just fuck it, I'm made this way But why didn't I stay When I had the chance Maybe it will pass by So I'll save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done And I'll drink at this pace Here is the after pictures, well, video of the closet. I am so happy with the results. It just looks so much nicer and it is much more decluttered. I am gonna go in and just declutter the rest of the living room because while I was decluttering everything else, I ended up just putting all the extra stuff on my coffee table and just kind of making a bigger mess. And there's Shiloh giving me a piece of paper. I'm not sure what it was, but I am just gonna clean off this coffee table and just get everything nice and situated. Why am I the only one who's left in the rain With nobody to hold on to Ooh. Why am I the only one who's feeling this pain When there should be two of us And yeah, I know We both wanted different things But letting go just comes easy to you, don't it? Why am I the only one who's left in the rain Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves. Can you feel it? Almost like I don't. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me in this little mini living room makeover. I am so happy with this council table. I will link it down in the description box below if you are interested in this exact one. It does come in black. The black one is a little more expensive. But if you are new to my channel, do not forget to hit subscribe as well as hit that bell. It is free and it notifies you all when I upload. I have tons of videos, ideas coming your way. So I really hope you guys stick around. And here is the after results because you know, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm still working on figuring out ways to decorate this. Let me know some ideas down in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you guys all in my next video, which will be on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Bye!